and welcome to the St Lawrence's Church Sunday School. I'm very glad that you can join us today. Um, I hope you had a lovely Easter break uh, and that you're enjoying being back at school, had your go a good first week back at school. Um, so today we're going to say a prayer and then we're going to read a story and then we're going to talk about the story and then we're going to do a little activity before we say a final prayer um, and close our Sunday school. So the first thing we're going to do is say a prayer and if we put our hands together and close our eyes we can say Dear Lord, thank you for keeping us safe over the Easter holidays. Thank you for our Easter eggs. Thank you for time off school with our families um, and thank you for bringing the sunshine so we can enjoy being outside. Thank you for our teachers for making the schools ready for us to go back and for all our friends so that we're glad to see them again now we're back at school. Amen. Okay, so what we're going to do today is hear a little story about Jesus and his telling his disciples, the people that followed him, that they were going to not just be fishermen, but the fishers, fishers of men. So this story is from Luke chapter 5, verses 1 to 12. Jesus calls the first disciples. One day Jesus was standing on the shore of Lake Gesneret, while people pushed their way up to, to listen to the word of God. He saw two boats pulled up on the beach. The fishermen had left them and were washing the nets. Jesus got into one of the boats. It belonged to Simon and asked him to push off a little from the shore. Jesus sat in the boat and taught the crowd. When he finished speaking, he said to Simon, push the boat out further to the deep water and you and your partners let down your nets for a catch. Master, Simon answered, we worked hard all night long and caught nothing, but if you say so, I will let down the nets. So they let them down and caught such a large number of fish that their nets were about to break. So they motioned to their partners in the other boat to come and help them. They came and filled both boats so full of fish that the boats were about to sink. When Simon Peter saw what had happened, he fell on his knees before Jesus and said, Go away from me, Lord. I am a sinful man. He and the others with him were all amazed at the large number of fish they had caught. The same was true of Simon's partners, James and John, the sons of Zebedee. Jesus said to Simon, Don't be afraid. From now on, you will be catching men. They pulled the boats up on the beach, left everything and followed Jesus. So that's a really interesting story there, isn't it? Jesus was at the shore of a lake and he was teaching people about the works of God and about how they should live their lives. And behind him, there were some fishermen who were listening to what he was saying. And after, the, after he had finished speaking, he went out onto the sea with the fishermen who had previously caught nothing at all in their nets. And, and Jesus told them to let down their nets and they caught loads and loads of fish, so many in the story. It says that their boats started to sink and they had to bring others along. And those people saw that Jesus had, had made that happen for them and that he could perform miracles. And they believed that he was the son of God and they left their jobs and they left their boats and followed him to spread the word of God and the word of Jesus to all the people they could find and help those people to turn to God. And in that way, they became the fishers of men. They went out to catch and find people to join, join God and to join Jesus. So that's a lovely story, isn't it, about how Jesus demonstrated um, his power to those around him and they believed in him and they went to join him and spread his word. Now it's an interesting question that is how can we spread the word? How can we spread the word of God to those around us, to those in our neighbourhoods, to those in our families, to our friends? And, and I think we should think about that. Let's think about the things that we can do to spread the word of God around our community 
Um, so some of the things that we can do and you could think about is maybe inviting one of your friends to Sunday school, especially when we get back to being at Sunday school in person. You could bring a friend along to some of our activities and get involved. Um, you could talk to people about what you've been doing in the church and with the Sunday school. Um, and you can most importantly show people, you can demonstrate what, what living God's word means in your life and how that means you should interact with others and, and help others in the community around you. And that's doing God's work around you. So you can demonstrate the word of God to those around you and show what it means to live a life with faith. So it would be good if you could have a think about some of the things that you could do to become a fisher of men and then maybe we could talk about them when we get together. Now on the theme of fishing and being a fisher of men, we're going to have a little activity and I'm going to show you something that I made earlier that you can try to make at home. Now what I've made here is a mobile, a fishing mobile and you can make one of these for your bedroom and you can hang whatever you like on it, but this is a special one because this is a mobile about being a fisher of men and a fish as well. So you can see what I've done here. I've taken two wire coat hangers, which hopefully you have around the house, um, and I've just put them together and stuck them with a little bit of tape. Um, now, maybe you're, uh, someone in your, an adult in your house could help you do that. And then I've got some lovely pictures. I've got some pictures of some people, a boy and a girl here on the top, who are the fishermen. And then on little pieces of string, I've hung other pictures and you can either print these pictures and colour them in or you can draw them. Um, and I've taped them to bits of string and I've hung them from my fishing rod, from my fishing net. You can see they're all hanging down. And then when the wind blows, they'll all float around in my bedroom above me. And I've actually found a little net as well. So I don't know if you recognise this net. Sometimes when you buy vegetables from the supermarket or fruit, they come in a little net bag. So often oranges do or these. This is actually a bag that had courgettes in. Um, and you can use if you cut up one of these bags, you can turn it into a net. And that can be the net that goes on the top and helps you catch all your fish. So as I say, this beautiful mobile, you can hang, you can make one and you can add all of the different pictures that you like. And then when you hang it in your room, hopefully it will remind you that, that all of us can be fishers of men, just as Jesus asked us to. Um, and then you can watch that just as you fall asleep in your bedroom. So I hope you have fun making one of those, making your mobile. Um, so now uh, I'm going, we're going to finish with a prayer um, and then hopefully you can have a think about um, how you can be a fisher of men. So the prayer we're going to finish with is the Lord's Prayer. So let's uh, put our hands together and close our eyes and say, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. So thank you very much for joining me at this Sunday School. And I look forward to seeing you very, very soon. Take care. Bye.